Gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, today I have something really cool to share with you that I am new to. My friend Evan from Radio Made Easy just laid it out and gave it to me Barney style and now I can finally see the importance of having the next level radio system which is going to be a more of a base radio. Now, what you said to me is once, once where's a portable radio? Do we have right once, here. Once you are set up and, you, and you're up and running with these, this is the natural progression. And I yep. ask you why, I didn't really understand it. Why would I have this uh, when I'm already chooching with these? Right. And basically what it comes down to is 10X power. Yep. 10X power uh, and the ability to uh, also use this as a repeater. Now, I keep hearing the term repeater that's thrown around a lot. Sure. I've never actually seen anyone use one outside of Wildland Fire, but just as a thumbnail sketch, these radios are pretty much line of sight. Yep. If you live in the mountains or have valleys or hills between you, they are not going to communicate. You're going to have problems. How the Forest Service does it, and as like we're talking about it, they yep. will take a repeater, put it on a high point, and now both radios are communicating and relaying. So it gives you the ability to, in any environment, extend uh, your range, mount, ex extend your range, doubling or even tripling your Absolutely. range, depending on the application. So. This is what we're going to do here is Evan is going to show us how to build this out into a portable, a man pack, you call it right That's here. Right. Yep. So essentially what we're doing is we're turning all this stuff into, into a portable version of this with 10x power. Yep. Does that explain That's what we're doing here? Right on the money. Yep. Okay. We're going to build this or Evan's going to build <laughs> this out um, and show you how to do it. Now, all this stuff will be available at Radio Made Easy. Yep. Everything is bespoke, including this beautiful pouch. Yep. Um, I'm going to just grab the camera. If you could start building this, and then I'll just ask questions. And I think that you're going to understand what this is about and why this is such a benefit in the next logical step uh, for Absolutely. your radios. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Let's, right. uh, let's start building. Of course, we're going to start with the bag. Now, right. this is a bespoke bag. This is not something that's been made to use elsewhere. You have designed, and th this is your baby. Yep, these are built by Andrew at Combat Art Training for us, exclusive to Radio Made Easy, and it's purpose-built to hold the radio and all the accessories. So I'll show you how it gets built out. Um, there's a lot of cool features in the bag that you're not going to be able to get anywhere else. Um, so let's start building it. What so, is step one? We're going to start right. with the radio? So the first thing we need to do is take the body of the radio and put it in this elastic Velcro carrier. Now this is part of the secret sauce of the bag is the bag is fully Velcro lined. So we're going to secure the radio in this elastic pouch. So this just unfolds and the radio will slide into it with these uh, retainer paracord loops. And this is kind of a universal pouch um, for any radio that will fit, so it is elastic. Um, but the main thing is that it's friction fit around the radio with these uh, paracord loops. All right, so now it's enveloped in hook Velcro, both sides, right? That's gonna be important because that's what's gonna secure the radio. Uh, what we're gonna do as a hack is uh, wrap this in paper Brilliant. to uh, conceal that Velcro. And I'm actually gonna need two pieces of paper, uh, but you get the idea. This is gonna um, protect that mating surface. You can use cardboard, uh, whatever you've got. Now and we this, wanna- This trick also works good with uh, your, your mag pouches and yeah. plate carrier stuff. This is awesome. So uh, you get the idea. This is gonna slide, slide in there. When you get it, to the spot you want, then you can uh, remove your paper and hope you didn't mess it up, right? <laughs> so um, we've got our power cable accessible in here. We'll talk about power later, uh, but on each side, we have these protective flaps with pass-throughs, right? So you can actually get cables in and out of the interior of the bag on both sides. The reason for that, you notice we have this pouch over here. This is to hold your hand mic. Right, so that's going to be accessible from the outside, but we need to plug this in to the face of the radio, right? So we can use our pass through, route it into the bag. There she is. Get our little protective cover, and then we'll just plug it right into the face of the radio. So now um, that's accessible to us. We can tuck 
What I like to do is tuck the cable into the pouch first. So it's not hanging out. And then uh, your hand mic goes in up top. and then your protective flap. So that's all secured in there. Now your other thing you have to deal with is how do we connect an antenna, right? Cause now the antenna jack's buried down in the bottom of this bag. And as you can see, there's no way to get there. So we're gonna use a relocation cable for that. This is a PL259 to an SO239. You don't need to know that. This is gonna come with your setup. And then you're gonna route that out the opposite side through the pass-through, right? So that's part of why we have these gaps is so that we can fit cables up through. We don't have a solid compartment, so I have room that I can route this end out and it's just gonna hang out this pass-through. So now we have uh, the antenna and the hand mic resolved. Our last um, frontier is power, right? If you notice, uh, these are red and black wires. Those may remind you of uh, what you find in a vehicle. These radios run off 12 volt power. So we do include a cigarette lighter adapter, um, but the main way you're gonna power this when you're not with your vehicle is with a battery, right? So we build these batteries in house. We add this harness. So these are lithium. Obviously this, they're yep. very light. So very lightweight. This is a six amp hour battery, very um, solid heat shrink coverage to keep all your terminals safe. We have a power lead for the radio, which is gonna connect with this adapter from the T-shaped connector to the battery. So Evan, can I ask you, with moderate use, how long can you expect to get out of a battery like this? A good rule of thumb is an hour per amp hour, right? So with moderate use, about six hours of continuous use. But keep in mind, um, this is gonna be sparingly used. You're not gonna be sitting transmitting for hours on end. This is to get a message out then you're moving. I can use my cigarette lighter adapter that's gonna come with every radio to power it directly off cigarette lighter. Now there's and always a fuse inside of here, be careful with that. And then inline fuses as well. Yeah, we've got inline fuses all over. And you can, you can run the radio while it's charging as well, right? You, right, so if, if this is powered off the battery, um, you can charge the battery off the charging lead with an AC charger. This is specific to the lithium battery. You can't just use any battery charger. It needs to be the 14.6 volt right. lithium charger, uh, but you can get those as well. You can see it lights up because it's getting voltage, but. This could also, with the lead that you put on you, this could be charged with solar as well. Is Anything, that is yep. that correct? you just get a barrel plug adapter off your charge controller. Um, and you could charge it off an al alternator if you wanted to. You Any... throw a 100 watt panel on here, this is gonna run indefinitely. Yeah, 100 watts would, would be great. The cool thing is we built the bag with two compartments. So you have this cavernous front compartment that's just gonna take this battery great. You could actually fit two of those, no problem in here. Just tuck your power wire in there. And now you have all this extra space, right? Um, so what will we do with that? Well, obviously we need some kind of antenna. All my radios are gonna have a whip antenna of some kind, right? And we standardize on B and C. The same um, ones that are gonna come on the three radio kit. Right, so you would already have one of these. Um, I like to have a spare one of these that just lives in the front pocket here, right? It just stays with my man pack. And what that will be used with is a mag mount. So these are traditionally for um, vehicles, right? So you would stick this on the roof of your vehicle and then you attach your whip. And that's the traditional use on the hood or on the roof mainly of the vehicle. But what's cool about this, as you see right here, I'm on a metal surface. It's stationary. I could run the radio off of a refrigerator, off of a cookie sheet on top of a bookshelf, you know, anywhere I can get a nice solid magnetic surface. So this package with the man pack is one of my best quick and dirty, um, get, get an antenna set up options. I just stow that above the battery and I stow this in the front sleeve. Now, the other thing I like to keep on hand that fits nicely in the bag is a roll up Slim Jim, or some people call these a J pole. So just about everyone has seen like a fiberglass mast antenna, right? This is similar to what would be inside that but it's using wire that can be rolled up in a convenient space, right? It is intentionally cut here. If you notice that when you get yours, there is a splice 
um, out of it right there and it's connected on each end to make kind of a C shape of wire. And this is a dual band antenna. It's gonna work really well on VHF and UHF. But what's, what's so magical about it is it's compact size, right? I don't have to tote around a five foot tall fiberglass rod. This coils up. I have 15 feet of feed line. So I can hang this in a tree, right? Throw something over a branch, hoist it up with some paracord, and now it's high. Especially if I need to set up a repeater, right? Height makes yes. might. BNC adapter, so it would connect to my handheld or this. And um, we haven't shown it but this would be adapted to BNC that would come with the radio. So everything's cross compatible. Um, and that's what you would have. So that's what I would run in the man pack with me at all times. And this is all gonna zip up. Everything's nice and tight, right? I don't have any exposed wires, grab handle, grab it and go. I can take this inside to a vehicle, take it hiking. It basically becomes as versatile as a handheld, but I have all that power and versatility in, a, in an all-inclusive package. That's right, so every American should have a handheld radio, right? This is what you carry with you every day, everywhere. But it's, it's small enough to do that, right? Just like your concealed carry pistol, it's a compromise. Not super powerful, not super long range, but it gets us by, just like our carry pistol. This is the AR-15, right? I've got additional power, additional capability, three points of contact, right? Yes, this is, yes, this is what I'm gonna choose um, to go out adventuring with, so to yes. speak. This is what that radio looks like out of the box, right? Um, and we need 12 volt power for it. And if you're, um, if you're familiar, right, the only place you get 12 volt power is in the vehicle. So um, if you wanna set this up stationary at home, you can still run it off of a battery or you can use a power supply like this. Yes. This is gonna give you a nice clean 12 volt power off of a, of a household outlet. Got it. Can so, you explain to me, uh, or explain to everyone as you explained the to philosophy. me, the philosophy, Sure. because I, I am immediately, when I said, I, I don't want a base mounted system. I want to have the that's flexibility, right. but you changed my mind on that. Well, and I show this to guys, they're like, oh, that's awesome. I'm going to take this every day, like carrying my lunch box to work, right? I'll just carry my man pack from home to the car and then back home. Uh, that will happen exactly once yes. and you'll leave it in the car, you'll leave it at home and it won't be there when you need it. Yep. Um, a permanently mounted always on radio in the vehicle and at home is indispensable. So think about this with digital, I can set my radio up to only play voices that I want to hear, right? So I can set it on a private channel that will only be my wife calling me or my war band or whoever that is. So I can crank Always the on. volume up as loud as I want. I'm not gonna yeah. hear nonsense. And then if I hear this thing going, I know it's important, right? So in all my vehicles, this is gonna come on when you turn the key on. It's gonna be on an ignition power source. That's that way so, if my wife so is driving, I know yep. I can get a hold of her. She can get a hold of me. Think about it with radios. You have to have them on and on the right channel for them to work. I think a man pack is going to be your next step because it gives you versatility and it's not tied down. But what I would ultimately shoot for is a permanently mounted radio in my home and in every vehicle, even if it's a handheld, but it just lives there and it's always on. That's the important part. Um, and then the man pack is going to give you that added versatility. You can grab and go. Um, but ideally you would have this everywhere and this is your concealed carry, right? So where, wherever you keep a rifle, you'd want to keep one of these. Wherever you take your pistol, you'd want one of these. Yep, that's, that's how I look at that, it. Uh, I think that that's really great counsel. Well, thank you so much, Evan, for sharing that. Yeah. That really opened my eyes. And, Absolutely. And um, it solves so many problems that we have. It's no, there's no point of having the radios if you don't use them, and you got to find solutions that work with everyone. Absolutely. You know, we're all at varying levels of ability and interest, and this is a solution. And um, I almost forgot, uh, great. but make sure you adorn adorn your man yes. pack with... Uh, Those of you who are ordering the Mark II three radio kit will get these, and once they're gone, they're gone. Yep. Act accordingly.